mathematics, circles have a very distinct uh, general form uh, of an equation, which I'm going to display to you now and try to talk about what each part means and how you can figure out given different sets of information. So, in general, the equation of a circle looks like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So let's talk a little bit about what these symbols mean. x and y are any point on the edge of the circle. That's what's still going to be in the equation, uh, even for any circle where you know all the information. So x and y is any point on the edge of the circle. h and k, this coordinate point h, k, is the center of your circle. So the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and keep in mind then if these are negative, then this would become a plus inside the formula there. And lastly we have r. r is of course the radius of the circle. So if you're given the center and the radius, you can write the equation of the circle very easily. You're not always going to be given the center and the radius though. Sometimes you're going to be given two coordinate points like the center and some other point on the circle. Remember that the distance between the center and any other point on the circle, the distance between those two is always going to be the radius. So if you're given these, this as a coordinate point, this as a coordinate point, you certainly know h and k because you were given this point. You could figure out r by doing the distance formula between those two points, for example. Another type in which you could be given is that you could be given endpoints of a diameter on the circle, and that's all you're given. Well, again, you could do a couple different things. To get the center, you could do the midpoint between those two points. You would get the center and be able to put that in your formula. And then you could either do the distance all the way across by doing the distance formula and then just dividing it uh, in two to get the radius, or once you've done the midpoint and got the center, you could just do the distance from the center to either of these points and you would get the radius. So there's a variety of different ways that uh, you can be asked a question that has to do with this formula and it's not always going to be given to you as plainly as this, but you can always figure it out. This is the general equation though. So let's think about uh, another example of times where you're going to have to do something a little bit different and that's if you're given part of this equation, but in a little bit of different form. So let me write out what I mean here. So let's say you had this, x squared plus 6x plus y squared plus 4y equals 1. Now, even though it might not look like it right away, this is the equation of a circle. However, we need to factor it into these components so that we know what the center and radius would be. So this type of question would say, if this is the equation of a circle, what are the center and the radius? Well, we need to get it into its factored components, which means here, since we have an x squared and a 6x, we don't have a constant, this is when we do completing the square. So, to complete the square, we'll separate the x's and y's. and leave a space because we know we're, need, we're going to need to add a number. So to complete the square, you take half of the coefficient that's on the x, which in this case would be 3, half of 6, and you square that, you add it here. So that should be plus 9, plus y squared plus 4y. Again, we do the same thing with the y's. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so we add 4. So the tricky part is, you always have to remember this, Whatever you added to this side, you also have to add to the other side. So we added a 9 and a 4, which is 13. There was already a 1 there, so this side now becomes 14. Now we can factor this. x squared plus 6x plus 9 is x plus 3 squared. By the way, whenever you complete the square, you're always going to get a perfect square factorization. So don't bother trying to figure out reverse FOIL and all that kind of stuff. Whenever you complete the square, that half number that was here is always going to be what's in that factor. So this is going to be y plus 2 squared equals 14. 
Now this looks exactly like our equation of a circle, so we can figure out all this information. What's the center? The center here would be negative 3, negative 2, because we had pluses in both of those. Our radius? Well, we know that 14 is the radius squared, so the radius must be the square root of 14, and you found the center and the radius that way. So there are tons of different ways that you could get uh, circle questions on an exam, but it all boils down to this formula and knowing how to apply things like the distance formula, the midpoint formula, and how to use completing these questions.